Max, you're still do. sticking with that? Is that what you think the Giants I am. I mean, do? Like, well, I'd be happy if the Giants got Parsons. I'd be happy if the Giants got Horn or a corner. Sure, that's the, that's the traditional conservative kind of common sense route to take. What I'm saying is this. Daniel Jones may turn out to be a good quarterback. I haven't ruled that out. I'm going to tell you right now, I don't think he's going to be a great quarterback. And if your team hasn't been good in a long time, it would be nice to have a great quarterback. Now, while you're finding out about Daniel Jones, if you have a chance to snag a guy with upper-end talent, who almost everyone says, yes, he's potentially great, but maybe not for a while, it's perfect. It gives you a little more runway with Daniel Jones to see if you really like him or not. And if you don't, you have a guy who's now held the clipboard for a while, may be ready to go, and, has a, and he has a chance to be great. And by the way, if you do, that's okay. So you took a shot. You took a shot, and then you still probably have a tradable commodity unless Trey Lance is really terrible. I know it's not what's going to happen, not what most people would do. I'm just saying. <laughs> I've seen enough Daniel Jones to think he has a chance to be good. I don't think great. I'd like a great quarterback. I don't mind you for that, and I don't necessarily disagree with that. But I'm not. I don't. I wouldn't. I wouldn't attach a level of urgency to it. Like they said, their draft needs. They need a rusher. Of course, you got Saquon Barkley coming back. You need to buffer that offensive line. You need to improve at the cornerback spot. You did get Galladay from Detroit. Now he's there with you, along with Darius Slayton. I got all of that. But I'm a fan of Joe Judge and the job that I saw him do last year. Every single week you watch the Giants, they got better. And so when I look at it from that perspective and I'm saying, okay, now I'm going to have Galladay and I'm going to have Saquon back, let's see what Daniel Jones has. I'm not saying you don't do what you said, Max. I'm just simply saying that would not be my priority if I'm the New York Giants. Ain't going to happen anyway. So. You know what? It, 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 it wouldn't be my priority, Max, and it's probably not going to happen. But if it's one of the dudes to me, if, it, if it's Justin Fields or, or Trey Lance and they fall to you, and if not, not you have to move up, but they fall to you, I'd take them. I'd take him, and if Daniel Jones isn't the guy, I'd move on from Daniel Jones. And say Daniel Jones is the guy, then you say, you know what, let's see what we can use as a, a tradable commodity next year when the draft comes around. The one Excellent. thing that no one's done with the new way the draft works is actually use the smaller contracts to do something unconventional. Daniel Jones was an unconventional pick. Why not make another one if you're Dave Gettleman? And if he is good but not great, you have to decide whether you want to pay him. And if he's good, he's going to want to be Absolutely. paid like he's great pretty soon. Yeah, of course it was unconventional. Yeah, no, nah, I'm with it. Basketball school. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.